day and welcome to the Keystone HTC podcast number 14. Have you ever had a customer standing in front of you complaining and not sure how to handle it? Or how do you determine the type of customer you are dealing with before deciding on a plan of action? And why is this important? We all have our own personalities, motivations, and quirks. The same can be said for the unhappy person standing in front of you. And if you can determine the type of person that is, the chances of you handling the complaint successfully will increase dramatically. Another reason why it is important to understand your customer is statistics have shown that in the past, if someone was pleased with your service, they might tell three friends. If they were displeased, they might tell 11 friends. Well, today, due to the growth of social media, if somebody is displeased, those 11 friends quickly become thousands or even tens of thousands of friends. Two more reasons to handle complaints effectively is that it is easier and less expensive to win back the customer that had a negative experience than to try to attract new customers. Up to 95% of the customers will give you a second chance if you handle their complaint successfully and in a timely manner. And resolving a complaint in a customer's favor? They will do business with you again 70% of the time. These last two statistics are cited from the Jim Moran Institute and Lee Resources. Now keep in mind, you won't be able to satisfy every unhappy customer who contacts you. But the financial returns to your business from turning a displeased customer service experience into a positive are huge. It has been our experience that customers that complain can be categorized into different groups. Let's look at the five most common groups. 1. The mild customer. Normally does not like to complain, but if you can see there is a problem, you might be required to ask more precise questions to get them to tell you what is wrong. 2. The pushy customer. Blunt and not at all timid about telling you what is on their mind. With this type of customer, you're better off not being pushy back. Rather, react with, what else may I help you with? Prove that you're willing to listen to their problem. 3. The big spender, your enterprise customer. They have no problem paying for convenience or top-notch service. However, they demand superior support for it. No customer cares for excuses. This customer detests hearing them. So don't make excuses. Just tell them how you're going to take care of their problem. 4. The Habitual Complainer This customer will contact you a great deal, but that does not mean that their problems should be brushed aside. Here is where patience is called for. And one thing is for sure, when this customer is satisfied, they will have no problems about telling others how great you are. And 5. The Rip-Off Customer Now this might sound a little harsh, but we have all seen them. This customer is never happy and is not actually looking for an acceptable reaction. They're just seeking to get something that they don't deserve. Nothing is good enough unless they are getting a handout. The best thing you can do is to stay calm and react as objectively as you can. Now that's our look at the five most common complaining customer groups. If you have any interesting stories about complaining customers or have a new group you would like to add to the list, If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave them in the comments section of the show notes. A PFD of each episode can also be found at the show notes at our website at keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com and click blog or go directly to keystonehospitalitydevelopment.com forward slash blog. Let's continue to work together to put heads in your beds. Until next time, have a fun day.